Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to extract or isolate a cappella from a track when you do not have the instrumental version of it. So, first of all, you will need four plugins that are this. These are the plugins. Plugins you will need to download for extracting a cappella from a track. So, these are the plugins. These are the four plugins. First of all, you will need, and yeah, these are the two plugins which are coming with Apple Studio itself. So, you don't need to download this. But these are the four plugins which you have to download. First of all, most important is extra boy. So make sure you have this plugin first of all. And these three are like not so important. I have these plugins here. I'll copy these plugins, all of them, then paste it in the VST folder of my FL Studio. I have 64 bit, so I have to go with program files, this x86, and then search for image line. This is my image line. Then go to Apple Studio 11, then go plugins, then VSTs, then paste it here. I click paste. So I have pasted all of them. These are the three, and this is the one extra boy. So close it now. Now open the Apple Studio. Now select the VSTs which I have just pasted here. For getting the VSTs, now this is the process how you get the VSTs and some people do not know how to install plugins in Apple Studio so this is the way first of all you have to click here first scan mm. then you will uh, scroll down it will be highlighted with red color so this is the block fish the red extra boy the floor fish and one more is there yes this is speed fish so these are the four plugins which I have uh, which I have included and now I need to track so this is a new track uh, by the way so that's why i'm going to use this and actually make sure of those that uh, you have the bpm of this track is 90 87 i guess 87 yeah i saw it if it is in bpm then it's going to be nice i guess this is better so this is in sync now So now, uh, double click here and then, then assign it to free mixer track. Now in the mixer track, you need to select all of them one by one. First of all, extra boy. Then just click on this. This is the isolated vocals and HR. HR means I don't know what, but it is something. So if you have that selected, then it will sound something different. Then now, floor fish, block fish, all of them. You must use all of them. And just 50% of it. Block fish, floor fish also I will get use. Floor fish. And the speed fish. Where is the speed fish? This is that. Use all of them 50%. Okay, and now, I will use a parametric EQ then just click here left click not left click actually yes left click a click on the left side and now uh, alt hold the alt button and click here in the in this place yes now one more thing I'm gonna I'm gonna use that is reverb little bit reverb is also nice wait and recording okay then then select this reverb now one more last may not maybe last but uh, compressor compressor will raise the volume up and i think this is a nice one i will use it for 10 dB because the sound really gets reduced a lot so this is a compressor and at last i'll use the limiter limiter will does what limiter does what actually it limits the track in a place and does not allow the track to go over and in the master track as you can see there's another limiter which is a default limiter i can just uh, dislike this and that will be shut down so let me see here this let me show the difference what was there before and what is there after
This is a before one and after one. This one. I think it is all right. Yes or no? What do you think? Yes, man. It's fine, I guess. You make me so good. Okay. Thanks for watching, friends. <laughs> so th these are the plugins I have used. And thanks for watching. Like and comment and subscribe for more exciting tutorials.